Where do you think that ramp goes? I don't. No, 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 no! Oh my god! This is not meant for cars. Who cares? How high are you planning on taking us exactly? All the way to the top. So the role of technology has changed and cars have changed with technology tremendously as well. There's a scene in this podcast where Hope is supposed to be driving a so-called pod, um, the new version of a car these days. She has no idea what she's doing. She's very confident and she is very determined to make it happen. So she figures it out throughout just basically doing it and she succeeds. Uh, the fact that uh, she and the technology work so well together kind of gives her the uh, the resource and the courage and the resolve to do what she has to do. So it was quite fun coming up with a scene where um, you had this fusion of woman and technology being the thing that saves the moment. When we talk about the future and future technologies, I think these technologies should be supportive to people in a sustainable way and in a meaningful way. So we are using different technologies to um, create uh, safer and cleaner cities and new mobility uh, solutions and services which um, will be more easy and comfortable um, for our future customers. I had no family or friends left in Germany and the London my airship touched down in was a foreign city to me. More than that. It was a whole other planet. It's interesting because London is sort of manufactured in that, um, that location that she's living in. Typically, you might associate a distant siren with, oh, there's something wrong that's going on. So definitely, I don't want to put in any sirens in this type of city, even though it's futuristic London. A lot of people nowadays are afraid of AI, afraid of technology, and they think, ooh, it's going to be a, a catastrophe when artificial intelligence takes over. This story has a different approach to it. It says it's going to be much better when technology takes over, because then everything is driven by logic and common sense and not um, by egoistic human beings. I think the conclusion the story comes to is that um, it's not beyond us to create an alternative and positive linked up world that could actually be pretty damn good to live in. The main obstacle is actually us, because um, the one thing that doesn't really change is human nature. Thankfully, as a storyteller, um, that's the case, because otherwise there, there wouldn't be a story if there wasn't someone trying to uh, throw a spanner in the works.